everybody. Today's topic, uh, tabletop topic, is what if we have an ace, anything else, versus the dealer's bus card, that's the two through six. And in, in particular, I want to discuss if we double. First of all, I wanted to say that these videos are for entertainment and information only. When you gamble, it's your money to wager how you want. Uh, I present opinions for you to consider when you are in action uh, and give you logical options to win more and lose less. So what I want to discuss today is do you double? If you have, for instance, I'm not going to discuss what the dealer has and his options for making a hand. Well, I do that in other videos. Today's uh, question is, do we double down when we have these cards? So I'm going to start off. If you have an ace and a deuce, there's four good cards you can get to make a, a pretty good hand. There's 21. The 7 gives you nine, uh, 20, the 6 gives you 19, the 5 gives you 18. So pretty good hand. 17 I'm not counting as a good hand. But if you're doubling down, you only get one card. One card. That's all. Just the one. <laughs> and if you only get one card to your ace deuce, that is going to give you 9 bad cards you could get. Any of these, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King, gives you a 12 or a 13. That's pretty pathetic. <laughs> and the Ace, 2, 3, 4, if you're doubling down, that gives you a bad hand too. So there's nine bad hands that you can end up with if you double down with an Ace and a Deuce and only four good cards that you can possibly get. And doubling down, you just get one card. So uh, the other, you know, another, the other side of that is if you just um, hit that card, uh, hit it, don't double, just hit, all of a sudden you've got eight good cards you can get because you can hit these again and build a hand. You don't have to break yourself because the dealer's got a break card to show. But, and, and there's still five bad cards you can get and you can just stop when you get there, okay? And um, these four cards, if you have an ace and a deuce, uh, we're not gonna worry about right now, okay? So, um, if, you, if, if you have an ace and a three, it changes a little bit because now the uh, eight goes away, goes to the bad side because eight and four is 12, that's bad. You still have the same, I'm gonna move this here, the same, um, option of, of good cards, seven to give you 20, six, I mean, seven, 21, six, 20, five, 19, and um, the four gives you 18. So you still have four good cards that you can hit. So four good cards, but these, are, if you double down, all these cards are bad. So there's nine there's still nine bad cards that you can get all right if you have a the four up ace four then um that's the if you get a the three comes over here to play so that would give you, if you got the, hit, if you double down, you hit the three, you got 18. The seven goes away, because if you, if you hit with that, that goes to a bad card over here, okay? So these are just moving around. You still have four good cards you can hit, 
There's 21, 20, 19, 18. Four good cards, nine bad cards. If you have the ace four. If you have the ace five, um, this six goes over here. Okay. And the two goes here, gives you 18. So it's the same situation. Four good cards you can hit. If you double, still nine bad cards. Okay, five, nine. Nine bad, four good, if you double, that's it. Um, and then here's where it gets interesting. If you have an A6, uh, the five moves to the bad side, okay, because that would give you 12, and the ace comes here, that gives you 18, right? Six, seven, 18, six, eight, 19, six, nine, 20, six, 10, 21. So still, there's only four good cards that you can hit with that. But what the interesting part is, it, all, these, all of a sudden, all these 10 point cards come into play. Okay, they come over to the good side. Because if you hit a 10 with your A6, you got 17. And uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, so that's four cards stay you stay the same. Four cards that improve. Now there's only five bad cards. So all of a sudden, everything is swipped, swapped over. <coughs> Instead of the nine, nine bad and four good for you, there's eight good and five bad. So eight to five, all of a sudden, just in that little one card uh, point difference, everything's flipped over to your advantage. And it, we can go even further. If you have an A7, uh, the four moves over here, but the nine moves over here. So it stays the same. You still have eight good cards you can hit and you either have the same amount or you get an improvement. So eight to five. All of a sudden when that six hits or the seven hits, you have an advantage, especially when the, when the dealer has a bus card. Let's look at one more number here. What if you have an ace eight? Ace eight, all these tens stay in, in play. The nine stays in play because you get, you'll have eight, uh, 18. The eight comes over here because eight and eight is 16 and one is 17. So this comes to here, but the three goes away. It moves over here. So these are all the bad cards. They, it's the same number, the same odds. With that, it's just the number, the card moves. So when you have an eight, seven, six, ace, eight, seven, six, the odds all of a sudden change to your advantage. You have eight good, five bad, and that's to double down with. So if you're against the dealer, with a, any bus card, it could be it could be any of these. Any of those are bus cards for the dealer. If you're up against those, you can double down with these, and you have an advantage of get a chance of getting a great card. 
or at least ended up with the same amount in your hand, and there's only five bad. So eight to five in your favor to double down, and you still have that two chances to win because uh, the dealer has to hit any of these cards, and they can break. Uh, incidentally, the uh, ace got it somewhere. The Ace of Diamonds is almost considered a bus card because we know from our uh, prior videos that there's twice as much chance that the dealer's got a bad card in the hole than he's got a good. The dealer has the Ace up. We know he doesn't have a 10. And if he has it in the hole and the 10 up, you know, we'd know that he'd have blackjack game. The hand is over, so you could double. You could still double down with the ace because it's. We get a lot of information from that. When they the dealer has to tell you if he's got blackjack or not, so that's you know that's a good one to your advantage. So, it, I thought it was really interesting how these numbers changed when you get to the ace six or more. Six, seven, eight. A six, seven, eight. Is a good hand to double down on against any of the dealer's break cards. So that's my take on this today. And I'm going to I'm going to show you my chart now um, to show you how I'm marking that one. Okay, now I got my chart set up so I can show you this, which I'm laying out as as we test out each uh, combination of cards. And the one we just talked about was what if you have an ace something versus the dealer's break card two through six, do you double down? And I think we've just, I've decided for me, it seems logical to what, what I would do is if I have a pair of aces, split them, okay? If I have ace two, ace three, ace four, ace five, I'm better off to just hit them because it, uh, if you double down you, and you only get one card, the odds are nine to four against you that you'll get a good card. And even though you have two chances to win, a lot of times the dealer will pull a good card or two good cards, you know they have to hit, but they can hit that perfect card and, and you lose. So why bet double the amount of money on that hand? But where it flipped over was when you have an A6 or an A7 and really A8 against the dealer's break cards, you can double down because the odds flip to your side. Now it's eight to five in your favor, here and here and here. Eight to five in your favor. Back here it's nine to four against you. So you just want to hit these, build a hand. The aces are great to split because you can get so many good cards, especially against the dealer's break cards. So I haven't put the, the other spots in here yet, which I will do right now. But these are going to be double down all the way across. This was stand or double. Depends on how aggressive you feel when you have the ace eight, because that's a you know that's a good win in hand, and if you just stand, you can win your bet, and and really that's fine, win your bet. So, this is the chart I'm going to be building as time goes by, and I'll show you so you can take a screenshot or whatever to have for your reference at home and I, I will get it all filled in. But for today's table talk, this is, the, this is my answer. Split aces, 
ace two, ace three, ace four, ace five, just a hit. Ace six, eight seven, double. Ace eight, stand or double. Ace nine, stand. And uh, I'm gonna get this filled in with the colors all the way. And as time goes by, we'll get it totally filled in and we'll have went through every scenario that we're gonna be coming up against. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching and come back next time for another edition.